everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Super Shock Shadow look. So, I've got my stuff in front of me here and the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take the Charlotte Tilbury colour corrector in number two, medium. Oh, which looks like so, and a wee brush. Let's get these brushes over here. Make things just a little bit easier for myself, Julie. Just going to take any kind of brush and I'm going to put. Where's my mirror actually? It's way over there. I'm just putting a little bit of the colour corrector under the eye. I know I haven't put any foundation on it and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Are we going to sneeze? <laughs> Excuse me. And a little bit on the eyelid just because it takes. A wee a bit of discoloration. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. If anyone else hates sneezing, I hate sneezing. Some people love it, but I'm like, ooh, and it leaves me cold afterwards. Got a fluff on my face there. <clears throat> okay. Right, just gonna grab this mirror. Please excuse. <laughs> Okie dokie dokes. Now with the Super Shock Shadows, if you're not new to them, they're by Colourpop. They are, this one is called Tea Party and it's an ultra glitter. So this is the shade. Basically, I just <clears throat> wanted to do a wee series with them because I have them. Plus, they are so easy to use. One swipe on, off you go. So I think they're really good for beginners to make up. Maybe people that aren't that advanced in makeup. Sorry, just need some. I don't really have much time. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in medium number two, if I can get it open. That's what it looks like, well loved. And I'm just going to use the same wee brush and we're just going to set under where I've put that colour corrector for the moment. Oh, my eyebrows are a riot. This is the most I've noticed my eyebrows being like so ginger. It's another one of those days where the sun's out, the sun's in. Curtains are shut, curtains are open because you're blinded. Now, I'm going to go straight in with the shadow first in case they're fall down. Then we'll continue on with our face. And now my heater's kicked in, so it's more noise. So this is what the colour looks like. It's a very, very sheer sort of peachy colour with a bit of glitter. So you're not going to see much of it. Some of them I suppose you could use as a topper for eyeshadow because they're not maybe the brightest in colour. But I've got them in a makeup bag and what I do is I'm just literally, <clears throat> it's like a pick and mix lucky dip and then taking them out and putting them on. So you'll get to see all of them. And as I say, some of them are darker than others. So again, you might want to, because you can just lightly see it, I'll lift you up. There. You know, it's very, very subtle. But again, some people, you know, that's all they feel comfortable with. And I mean, you can keep building it up and building it up till you get the desired look. And I've got that texture on my eyes again. The really dryness has come back, so... But they're just lovely. So I'm trying to think examples of some people that I know that are maybe not that majorly into makeup. But they like a bit of something. Like my friend Helen, she likes makeup. But she doesn't ever wear really dramatic eye looks or anything. So like she might use something like this it's quick it's easy you can just pop it on literally just use your finger it's the best way to apply them and then you've got a bit of something without it being too much and as I say if you wanted you could add more colors or you could put in some maybe some mattes and stuff and see even just with that little brush that I used I'm just going to quickly do that and I've got a little bit of fall down, which is why I didn't do my base first. Now, we are going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Instant Focus Beauty Flash. 
as our primer. Oops. I love this stuff. If it'll come out. There's loads in there. What are you doing? What a racket my heater makes. Doesn't help that I'm sat pretty near it right now. But I thought this had the best light without being blinded because I've got the curtains pulled over. But I don't know what it is. Like my ring light's always been rubbish since the day I got it. I've never been that pleased with it. But I don't know whether it's since I've changed to this new phone. This is the Huawei P30 light. But when I have the ring light on, I'm actually better with the ring light off. So I don't know. I give up. I'll maybe get another ring light at some point in life. So that's that. And then the foundation of choice today is the EX1 Invisawear Liquid Foundation in the shade 3.0. And my trusty number 7 sponge, which I love. And we're just going to pop that all over the face. I keep thinking about doing Instagram, like IGTV videos, but I just never do them. I just, I prefer to do my YouTube. I watch Instagram TV videos purely because I love Pixie Woo. They are what started me out doing my channel and really helped me when I had my anxiety. But they do mostly Instagram TV videos now, which sucks. And... So does Hannah Martin and Lisa Potter Dixon, all these kind of people that I like to watch. You know, they all seem to be over there now. So because they're over there, I do then feel that I want to go and watch them. And there's nothing wrong with IGTV if that's what people want to do, but I just, I really like actually sitting watching YouTube videos. Plus, I don't have to hold a device and get a sore hand or arm watching it because it's not like you can get Instagram. Well, not that I'm aware of, but I don't think you can get Instagram on your smart TVs and stuff. So, you know, and now the sun's gone out again, so I, I need to put my light here. Ave my light. Sorry, guys, my head's all over the place right now. It's just a bit like that but I love that foundation again I don't know how well it shows up <clears throat> on the camera let's take you here see so just that light touch of peach I think I'm going to move the table Come on. over here what did I just drop everything Julie that's what you just dropped your whole entire now I've got all here bear with bear with I told you I ain't a pretty Right, we've got everything. Everything's all good. So yes, it's just a nice light. Wait, find it. Why is this? If you hear that go off, it's a Poundland timer and it's useless. Okay, foundation is done. Where is my uh -huh. Going to use this Benefit Boing airbrush concealer in the shade number two. I'll tell you what, see if that thing does go off, I'll probably jump out my skin. This is a great concealer. I got this in Feel Unique Pick and Mix, actually. And it's just a lovely. I'm not a fan, for my personal skin, of benefits, like foundations and stuff. I just never go on with them. They're too heavy. But I'm really loving this concealer and again I am going to go in with some of the Charlotte Tilbury powder and we're just going to set that yeah so the super shock shadows are brilliant as I say in the sense that say you just you want to throw something on or you might feel like oh I look a bit cack today um, so I need something you just Honestly, it's so simple and off you go. Now, I just want to let the foundation and that settle in. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and this is in DTLA. It's this nice blue colour and I'm going to put my waterline. 
Oh, it's lovely. And again, this is just to give you a bit of something without it being too much. You know, if you're not into... Like, there's a lady at my work who wears blue mascara all the time. She never wears black, she never wears brown. She just likes the blue mascara because that's her bit of pizzazz in her makeup. Now, we'll leave that there and I'm going to use this excuse me, Benefit Roller Lash, and this is in brown. I love this mascara so much. It is so good. And I like a brown mascara for a less dramatic look. But I really like this. If you want something more dramatic and more standout, you're better off to use black. But sometimes the brown is just a nice alternative subtlety and I really like this one like I've got nothing on this eye so far on the lashes and it's just so good oh I don't know where to put my mirror and things I'm getting a bit frustrated with life right now I mean the time out folks, I just, everything's piling up again on me and I really just need some time out. But even doing stuff like this takes my mind off things for a little while, so I'm doing what I need to do for myself. That's the most important thing when you suffer with your mental health, is to do what's right for you. Try and ignore what other people think, what other people say what other people believe you should do and just do you but that's also easier said than done as well okay going back in with the skin oh no i'm going to do my brows first i'm going to use my trusty browsings this is in number one as you will see it's well used and well loved <laughs> and as i said my brows are a bit of a riot to have a spilly thingy me chicky in here Hmm, was that a nope? Yes. I need to get them waxed. I hate, oh, I've got to hear it in my eye, it's stuck. There we go. I hate plucking my own eyebrows, I just find it so incredibly painful because I'm such a wimp. I do, do ooh, sorry, I'm going to pull there. I do do it, but I still find it incredibly painful. But yeah, I've not had my hair done since the beginning of November and it's now, now April. But, like, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to keep getting brown and blonde in it or let it go back to my natural colour, which actually isn't as red as it used to be when I was younger. I cannot decide, guys. I also feel that if I don't get blonde put in it, and then I let my hair go right back to its naturalness. It might take ages if I do then want blonding to build up again. So who knows what will happen. I just have to watch this space. And I know my brows aren't perfect, but there you go. Put that back in there. Now... I'm going to use this bronzer and I always feel bad to use it just because you cannot get it anymore which is completely a shame. I have messaged Too Faced so many times. This is the Too Faced Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer. Now they still have the pink one so why can't you have the peach one? I got this on um, <clears throat> eBay because I was like I need it in my life. Let's put it here. And we'll use this one. And I just take a big brush. And I just love it. Like, literally love it. When I was getting into Too Faced, when I was at college, which was way back in 2007, I just absolutely loved it. It was the only bronzer that I ever used. I find the pink one too much. 
but I just like the kind of look it gave me. And then they just stopped using it and I'd hit pan on it and I was like, oh, gutted. So I actually, this is my third one because I managed to find two on two different sailors. And yes, I did pay too much for it, but I was like, I love it. So I do kind of hardly use it because I don't want to run out of it. Does anyone else like that? It's like your favourite products, you just don't want to run out of them. Which is why sometimes you really hover on to having them. Well, that's like this one. So I do feel bad when I show you it. Because you can't get it anymore. But maybe you guys could mention the True Face as well. And we could get it back. For blush today, I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. Which is this gorgeous one here. And this blush brush from the Body Shop. Which feels like it's going to fall apart. I only just got it. My cousin's wife does body shop at home. And uh, she sent me some stuff which is really lovely of her. The video is on my channel. And the link is in the description for you to go over there too. Then I'm going to go into oh, my first ever hourglass that I bought from John Lewis. As you can see... The highlighter is well and truly loved. So we're going to use that highlight. Which is called Incandescent Light. And we are just going to pop it where the highlight goes. And then we are going to use another brush but I use this one this is a sport effects brush and I'm going to go in to radiant light which is this powder here and we're just going to pop that all over the face as well I would highly recommend Hourglass as a brand I know they're not the cheapest but their products are so good and they last ages and then all we have to do now is lips. I am going to use this Rodial lip liner in Nude. I can't remember who I got this from. I need to do my stash as well. Why are my lips all so dry? I should wear lip liners more often, but I just don't. Then this Bobbi Brown Lip Colour in Carnation, which looks like this. I don't know why I picked this lipstick today, but... Okay, and then the finishing touches is some Fix Plus by MAC. And then we're going to use my lovely fan. Just dry that off a bit. I'm so conscious of not breaking this as well. And I'm done. So that is the Super Shock Shadow. Excuse the hair. It's all over the place. It has been brushed, I promise. But this is the shadow, as I say. It's just a light peachy look with the dark blue liner. And then just some nice fresh skin with a nice lip. So if you're enjoying my Super Shock Shadow series, then please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be notified. And there will be a playlist with all of them in so that you can watch them all if that's what you want to do. And yes, thank you so much. Bye. My little clicker, see if it goes off.